Yesterday, I traveled to France for Paris Game Week where I got to get hands-on with Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and play with new guns. New maps, pretty much almost the final build of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 multiplayer. I recorded the vlog and that'll be out very, very soon. But today, I want to cover some of the actual gameplay footage that was recorded from a live stream that happened yesterday, also at Paris Games Week. And we're going to be covering new guns and new maps. Literally almost a week away until Black Ops 3 comes out. It is crazy. So let's just jump Jump into these maps and take a look at some of the new weapons that will be available to play within Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So get ready guys for almost 10 minutes of Black Ops 3 gameplay on the brand new maps with brand new weapons. This is taken from yesterday's live stream as I mentioned. It is a selection of all-star pro players from the European side against the American all-star team as well. I know a lot of these guys actually played with a few of the European pros that are actually playing on this stream right now. Really nice guys. Got a lot of them along with them really, really well. They actually told me a little bit about the brand new guns and how they were so good and gave me some class setups. Uh, absolutely awesome. But this first map is called Metro. We're going to be going through five maps in total, including Redwood, that you guys will also have taken a look at as well previously. And honestly, all the maps, guys, are seriously, seriously good. Now, something that I actually noticed when I was going through these five maps and cutting up the footage for you guys is that I actually played a few maps that weren't on this live stream so these five new maps are awesome but I actually played even more maps and the annoying thing is um, I don't have any footage I can share with you guys at the moment of that I, I can just tell you that all the maps I played were so good like there wasn't a map where I was like Eh, this, this doesn't feel right, the layout's a bit off, you know what I mean? So the maps are on point, as you definitely expect, with Treyarch. So Metro here works with a very much an indoor basis. This is the indoor center part of the map right here. You can see, which is fantastic, because this has been played in a competitive variation, because, of course, it is uh, competitive players playing. The minimap on that top left-hand side gives you a great idea of the layout. And that center part is all indoors. There are two spawns on the either side of the map. You can see that with the red and green arrow. Those are the only outdoor parts of the map. Most of the action will be happening indoors. And uh, if you get, like, the annoying thing was when I played this map, I had, like, Hellstorm Missile and Lightning Strike. And I just didn't really do much because we were actually playing, um, uh, of course, on this map where a lot of the action was happening indoors. Now, I'm going to point out some of the new weapons as well. We've actually seen one of them, the uh, Pharaoh. Um, it is a very, very good SMG. But there's going to be tons of footage here, guys, and tons of chance to talk about everything. Do not worry. Breach is a map that I actually did not play. So, like, I was just amazed that all of these maps were being shown yesterday. And despite the fact I sat down and played Black Ops 3 for, like, Two hours non-stop. I didn't even have a chance to play all the maps, unfortunately. So, Breach here is going to be played on hard point. We can see here, of course, loads of ways to actually get around the map using the wall running features. A lot of the maps have towards the edges parts where you can wall run. It's risky. If you get shot or you fall off, you're, of course, going to fall to your inevitable death, which you do not want. But it is typically a great way to get around the map very, very quickly. So in modes where there is objectives, it's very, very useful, like capture the flag or uh, anything that involves you getting one, from one side of the map to the other quickly that you use these wall running spots because they are so useful. So definitely get to know them, get to learn them. And it's a little interesting cinematic here gives us a very good layout and idea of how Breach is going to look. Now, we get some gameplay action happening here. I'm actually going to focus a little bit more on some of the weapons these guys are using because I haven't really talked about them so far. I've just been super pumped and excited. So this here is the SMG, the Pharaoh. It is actually a burst SMG, a four-shot burst SMG. The best SMG I can compare it to is the Cheekom. And as soon as I realized that, I was like, you know what? You know what? Road to Black Ops 3 using the Cheekom on Black Ops 2 is definitely going to be happening in one of the future episodes. So get excited for that as well. Uh, the Man of War, of course, returning. Still a fantastic gun. It has a fairly slow fire rate, as it, as it did anyway. Um, but it's actually another brand new weapon called, I believe, the ICR, which is very similar to like the ACR from Modern Warfare 2 or the M27 from Black Ops 3. I absolutely adored that assault rifle when I was using it. It was so good. And when it comes up on screen, I'll show you guys because it was so much fun to use. But back here with one of the brand new SMGs, uh, which is absolutely awesome. You can see here, shots going down. If you can fire that gun and use your trigger finger effectively, you can fire off bullets very, very quickly indeed. And you're going to be slaying players at a very good range. Now, Typical to how the Cheekon worked in Black Ops 2, you're not going to be able to shoot people too far, but that medium range, it makes an SMG very, very viable in a range that normally it just wouldn't really work too well at. This is Redwood, of course we've seen this before um, in the video where we talked a little bit more about the final 9 specialist, the flamethrower specialist, 
and um, it, this map is really, really fun. I did actually play it um, actually in uh, hard point, and I was actually using the flamethrower specialist and using the flamethrower, and I recreated part of the little uh, clip that we have seen already. I'll show that in my vlog. You guys will just wait for my vlog. I talk a lot about it. It was so much fun. There's more live reactions in the vlog, which will be coming later as well. But Redwood is a very good map. Again, the edges offer a lot of wall running opportunities to get around the map very quickly. There's a few buildings, about three or four buildings which do offer indoor space, but a lot of the action will be happening uh, outside. As you can see here, we're actually rocking a sniper rifle, the Locust to be specific. Uh, the Razorback here is also being used. The Razorback definitely did not feel as strong as it was uh, in the beta. I mean, people absolutely loved the Razorback. So, obviously, it's going to get a lot of attention, a lot of tweaking to make sure that it wasn't too, too powerful. One gun that, that wasn't changed too much was the M8. That gun is still an absolute machine. Oh, my gosh. Went on an absolute tear with that gun. I think I had like a 20, 25 gun streak while playing yesterday in France with that gun. It was absolutely nuts, man. So this is Search and Destroy here being played on Redwood. So, of course, uh, intermission here between the rounds. You can notice, notice the hit markers we haven't actually spoken about yet. But again, we'll mention it in my vlog. Uh, the final bullet that you connect with that will kill will offer a red hit marker. Which is great for knowing that you've actually finished that player off. One of the worst experiences, and I do have it a few times, is when like I'm calling in a kill streak, for example. Maybe I'm playing like, uh, uh, say for example, kill confirmed. We don't get a full 100 points for killing the enemy. Sometimes I'll be in the middle of a gunfight and my, say, lightning strike or stealth chopper will get me a kill. It'll come up with plus like 25 and it will confuse me and I'll stop shooting and end up losing that gunfight, which is just not great at all. But now that you've got this red bullet hit marker to know that you finish off a player, you're going to keep on shooting until you know that red bullet's appeared. Very, very useful. Helped me out a lot and actually surprised me a few times when I got a kill and I didn't think I'd got a kill to save me firing more bursts. This is Exodus, another map that I did not play. Believe it or not, like absolutely crazy how many maps there are that I didn't even get a chance to touch. Um, Exodus here, I'm actually going to be playing Uplink, which will be returning from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I think Uplink is a fantastic competitive mode to watch. Tons of strategies, and if you know what you're doing in this game, and of course the pro players do, you can offer some crazy routes, crazy strategies, and crazy throws, not only to your teammates, but also into the big uh, sphere goal, which you're trying to get the ball into on the other side of the map. If you haven't watched much competitive, maybe you don't know this mode, but I think most of you guys will, will know what this mode is all about. It's very, very good. Here you can see some wall running in action, and it just shows you how quickly it allows you to traverse around the map. This is the ICR, baby. Look at it. It, does, it actually has a red dot sight on. Um, which is annoying because it would be able to show you just how similar it is to the M27 if it didn't have a red dot on. Um, and honestly, the iron sights are absolutely banging. They are awesome. You do not need a red dot on this gun at all. It just mows through people and is extremely, extremely good. Now, it is one of the sort of low recoil, high fire rate guns, which is great if you're on target. But if you start missing bullets, then you could get in that ugly pattern of um, just finding yourself... In a really bad position, this is the, uh, this is the Vesper, by the way, the, another uh, SMG. Uh, you could find yourself in a really bad position where actually you're just missing bullets and people are being, you're being shot at and your uh, recoil and your flinch is just getting knocked up and you just end up not hitting anything. So being accurate is an absolute must with this gun, but it is so fun, man. Like, I'm definitely an assault rifle player. Like, I realized that when I was using the SMGs in this game. Like, I'm, I'm just, I, 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 I like it. I like assault rifle, man. I like assault rifles. They are my favorite gun. And if you like assault rifles as well, then you're going to really, really like the ICR. This is the Shiva, a single fire weapon. Similar to the FAL, but can't, definitely can't be shot as fast as the FAL. But still very, very good. This is Havoc. I did play this map. But as I said, there's a few maps that aren't on here. And it's annoying because the few maps that aren't on here, I went absolutely off on. Like, like that's when I got like, my 20, 25 gun streak. And it was, for every station it's been played at, there's like a casting TV. Of course, that's the host setting up the game. And one of the two's like, what the heck? Who is this guy? And when I died in the 25, I was like, oh, damn it. He's like, oh, bro, I was watching you. You were popping off. And I was like, thank you very much. But here, Havoc. This is an interesting map with a lot of open space in the center. Big trucks. And with routes on either side of the map to traverse around on. One side of the map is open. One side of the map goes through an indoor sort of bunker system. And uh, you've got like a broken down sort of like, it's not really like a heli. It's like one of those sort of futur futuristic spaceships. And that offers some indoor cover towards the center of the map. A lot of gunfights in the open here. It, it is very, very nuts indeed. So you see here, players study from the US going straight to the center there. Got the Vespa being rocked straight on the hard point. Hard point, man, I love hard point. I'm definitely playing a lot of hard point on Black Ops 3. And I love like all the modes on Black Ops 2. I just felt really limited when playing Ghosts and Advanced Warfare that I sort of stuck toward TDM 
and free for all. And I notice it a lot in my comment section that people want to be playing different modes. And trust me, Black Ops 3, man, I'm going to be playing different modes. I'm pumped for everything. For everything. <laughs> as I said, it's literally like just a week away until this game comes out. It's absolutely nuts, guys. So hopefully we are coming towards the end here. You've enjoyed the footage of all these maps. And a little bit of a look at both the ICR, the brand new assault rifle, and the Pharaoh, the brand new SMG. Those two are like the biggest new guns that are available to play in the build that I was on. And they're both fantastic, fantastic weapons to be available, of course, to play in the full game when it comes out on November the 6th, my birthday, next week. Friday. So this has been 10 minutes, guys, of gameplay. I apologize. I can't bring you guys any gameplay of the extra maps that I played that haven't been shown yet because they were so good. Um, but hopefully this new gameplay has sufficiently filled your need for Black Ops 3. And of course, I'll be keeping you guys updated with more information and more videos over the next week leading up to launch. And on launch, I'm going to be smashing out so many videos for you guys. So let me know what you're thinking of the brand new weapons and the brand new maps. Are you liking them? What are you thinking? Let me know down below. On screen here, you can check out brand new videos videos in case you have missed them, the start of the Road to Black with 3 series and more. Thank you for watching guys, you're awesome, I'll see you guys next time.